Hi there, it's Carrie from Western's Writing Center. And in this quick video, I will be showing you how to create an APA reference entry for a web page that has no listed author. Uh, in APA, depending on the type of source, uh, there are different citation formats. So the standard format for a web-based source, like a website, but one with no author, we're gonna be really looking for five pieces of information. So first, we're gonna be looking for the name of the organization since we don't have a specific author. APA rarely, I will not say never, but rarely will a reference entry start with the title. Uh, if there is no listed author, you're almost always gonna find the organization. Then we're gonna be looking for the date, which will be in parentheses. We are gonna look for the title of the specific page that we are using, and this will be in italics, and it will follow what is called sentence case for capitalization rules, it's kind of unusual, but sentence case means that we look at the title of that page as if it were a sentence, and we capitalize just as we would in a sentence. So the first word of the title, the first word of the subtitle if there is one, and then proper nouns. All other words will be lowercase regardless of what the website actually looks like. Fourth, we're gonna be looking for the container. And when we're talking about a, a web page, usually the container is the overall website that is hosting that page uh, rather than the title of the specific page that, that you're on. Very often, not always, but very often this might be the exact same as the organization. And the APA manual says if the name of the organization that we're listing as the author is the same as the container, we skip the container. Essentially, don't repeat the same information in your reference entry. And then lastly, we're looking for the URL. So let's take a look at an example. Here is a website that we might want to use for some research. So we don't have a specific author. We're going to instead be looking for our organizational author. And that is right up here at the top, uh, the National Institute of Arthritis and Musculoskeletal and Skin Diseases. Then we're going to be looking for our date. And when you're on a web page, sometimes the date is right at the top of the page, but sometimes it's not. And it's our job as researchers to, to scan that entire page and try to find that date. So for this page, there was a lot of information and I had to scan way, way, way to the bottom of the page to find the publication date. Then we are gonna be looking for the title of the actual page that we're on. And again, that's gonna be in italics and it's gonna follow those sentence case rules. Then we are looking for the container, again, which is kind of like the bigger host of all of this. And if it's the same, if it was National Institute of Arthritis and Musculoskeletal and Skin Diseases, we would skip it, but it's not the same because the National Institute of Arthritis and Musculoskeletal and Skin Diseases is a subcategory uh, of this much larger organization called the National Institutes of Health. That is going to be our container. And then lastly, we're just going to copy and paste the URL. So our reference entry for this website will look like what you see on the bottom of your screen where we have our organizational author listed first. We have the date in parentheses after. Uh, we have the title in italics following that sentence case rule. We have the name of the organization and then the URL. One note about dates, typically we only ever have to include the year of publication. So even though this source says December of 2019, the APA manual basically says, unless it's a site that changes really, really frequently, we, the year is fine. Uh, I hope that information is helpful. If you have any questions or you need um, help discerning how to cite uh, a source that you have, please reach out to us in the Writing Center.